All right, guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving question 30 from the first chapter of the Bjorn Johnson textbook, Mechanics of Materials. And we have these two wooden members of uniform rectangular cross section that are joined by the simple glue scarf splice. As we can see, we know that the maximum allowable shear and stress in the glue splice is 620 kilopascals. So the first given in here is the maximum of the shearing rate is 620 kilopascals. Pascal, and in the A part, we need to determine the largest load P. So the maximum of the P in here for the A part, and that can be applied safely. And in the B part, we have to find the corresponding tensile stress in this place. So the surface that we have that we're talking about is the surface in here. And if we look at this wooden piece from the point of view of this little guy, what well, we're going to see is something like this in here. We have the force P applying at two sides. Uh, but what we need for sharing stress is the force that is parallel to the uh, we need the force that is parallel to the surface. And for finding the tensile force, we need the normal stress. So basically, we are dissolving P into two different components, parallel and perpendicular to that surface. And we also know this angle here is 45 degrees. So if that's 45 degrees, this will be P cosine of 45 degrees, and the normal force would be P sine of 45 degrees and if we look at this we'll see that we can find the area of this section very easy we can call it a and for finding the a we basically have the area of that rectangle which is 150 times 75 in millimeter squared or we can get 150 times 75 times 10 to the minus 6 in order to get it in meter square. And let's figure out the relationship between those two. So this is the A part. If we look at it, it will be that surface. But we are interested in this area, which is A prime. And if we look at this right triangle that we have in here, this side is A, and we're interested in A prime. We also know this angle is 45 degrees. Actually, the other one is the same too. So if we find the sine of 45 degrees, we basically have A, which is the opposite over A prime. So the A, the area that we need in here is A prime, which will be A over sine of 45 degrees. So now we have everything we need for finding the maximum shearing rate. So we know the maximum shearing rate is the force, which is the P cosine of 45 that we have in here. And since we have the maximum of the shearing rate, we're going to get the P maximum. And the area, as we discussed, is what we have as A over sine of 45 degrees. So this will be equal to P cosine of 45 degrees times sine of 45 degrees divided by A. Now we can find our P. So P would be basically A times the maximum of shear rate over cosine of 45 times sine of 45. So the area we found in the previous part, 150 times 75 times 10 to the minus 6 times the sharing, sharing stress is 620 kilopascal. We're going to multiply it by 1,000 to get it in pascal. And we keep the denominator the same. And let's see what we get in here. 150 times 75 times 620 divided by 1,000 divided by sine of 45 divided by cosine of 45. And that's going to give us 13,950 Newton, or we can report as kilonewton, which will be 13.95 kilonewton. 
So that's the answer for the A part. So in the B part, we need to find the corresponding tensile stress. And for finding that, we have this time the normal force, which if we look at it, it will be P sine of 45 degrees. P sine of 45 degrees divided by A over sine of 45 degrees. And since the value of sine and cosine is the same, basically, because this will be equal to P sine squared of 45 degrees over A, which is exactly what we have in here. We know cosine and sine are the same. So sine squared is equal to sine times cosine. So we're going to get the same answer, which is 620 kilopascal. And that would be the tensile stress in the, the part of the question. Hope everything was clear. We don't need to spend time at the end to figure out the value. It will be the same as what we found for the shearing stress. And let me know if you guys have any questions. If you're covering different textbooks in this channel, feel free to check out the playlist. And let me know if you have any specific problem that we can cover it in the next videos. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.